you judge a man by his enemy, we've got several. <laughs> There have been occasions when I've been told not to wear certain items. Because um, when I first started to try and introduce cat suits, the first one was just a leotard, really, with really thin lycra. And um, it didn't leave enough to the imagination, so, you know, that's, that had to go. But, you know, from that, from that point, it's just been, you know, my look particularly has evolved. We always had a policy of, um, Agree to disagree, you know, we all just wear what we want, really, because I think because everyone's not into exactly the same thing, that we all just sort of tolerate each other in certain quarters. Um, the way I dress particularly stirs up emotions that people aren't necessarily able to cope with, and, you know, maybe they're closeted homosexuals or they're homosexuals who are secretly straight, or vice versa. It's the, I mean, it, all it is, it is it, if you don't like this band, it's demonstrating that you are une ill at ease with your own sexuality, or what you perceive it to be. And you need to just have a look at yourself and maybe get some help. It's always about the costumes, or the fun aspect, or is it this, is it that. No one's ever criticised their songwriting. These are the same magazines that when ACDC <coughs> came out, either ridiculed or ignored them because there was a bloke in a school uniform playing his guitar wouldn't take Aerosmith seriously because they thought that Aerosmith was just a poor version of the New York doll. And, and these are the magazines that are so often proved patently wrong and then change their tune 20 years later when these are the biggest selling acts in the world and they can't put a foot wrong and everyone loves them. Um, so for me, they're not really the rock experts and it makes no difference at all. So a lot of the bands we get compared to, we don't actually sound anything like whatsoever. But um, a lot of people say glam rock as well. And glam rock to us means like Gary Glitter and The Sweet and Slade and bands like that, we're not anything like that whatsoever. So we, we, generally we don't like to call ourselves glam rock. And we don't sound in, like Motley Crue, do we? And they're all about the lifestyle. There's no real substance to their songwriting. Whereas we write songs, and then the lifestyle is just a, a, you know, a side effect, really. Because we're trying to bring the stadium show to the pubs, what they would normally say is, um, who in God's name do you think you are? Okay. We'd say we are, we are the darkness. Get used to it. You judge a man by his enemy. We've got several.